everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Metro Nicole thank you so much for tuning in and today's video is going to be a week in my life as a mom my daughters were off for, from spring break so I decided to film a little bit of everything that we did we tried some new restaurants did some shopping and I'm also going to provide a little bit of cleaning as well so if you're interested stay tuned Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Only talk Bobby about Bobby. me. Always come one of them. No, she's one of those people. <laughs> Smells good. One of those vloggers. They just smell good, but I'm gonna be famous, guys. It don't smell like. This is the new Mexican restaurant my daughters and I tried. I believe it's called Catina Laredo. I had three um, shrimp tacos. My one daughter had chicken quesadilla and the sec my second daughter had enchiladas. They gave it a 10 out of 10. I gave it a 7 out of 10. I'm not a big Mexican person, but we were trying to try something new. We did this basically day one after being off from work and of course I got food on myself and then the next day we tried out mellow mushroom um, we all just got burgers I got the classic uh, male burger one of my other daughters just got a cheeseburger and then my second daughter got the Ritz burger so the food was actually really good we'll definitely go back another day Okay ladies, if you have made it this far in the video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And we're just jumping into the cleaning portion. We had just got back home from a long day of being out and I just wanted some clean sheets on my bed. I felt the urge to want to take a nap, but again, my room looked like, you know, a messy and I wanted clean sheets. So I decided to go ahead and clean up everything and put new sheets on and I feel like I just sleep better after getting home from a, a long day getting new sheets on getting a shower and then I can get in the bed and take a nap so as you can see I'm just getting started on this day was Thursday um, my daughters had a dentist appointment and my plan was after the dentist appointment was to go see the new Ghostbusters movie at a really nice um, movie theater that one of my friends told me about and then we we're gonna try a new restaurant but then I feel like every time I try to plan like a movie like one one wants to go to the movie but the other one doesn't and she just wasn't really in the mood so I was like you know what it is what it is I think I'm just gonna start trying to plan stuff to do by myself to be honest because I kind of run into that with them they don't want to do something but then it's like when I don't want to do something they'd be like oh I'm bored I want to go out I'm like it don't work like that when you don't have money and have a car to drive you have to do stuff on my time sometimes you know what I mean but yeah so I think sometimes especially when they're at school I'm gonna start doing like solo day dates and I'm gonna Definitely going to be recording that as a new mommy series as well because I think it's important for us to be able to enjoy things that we want to enjoy even though our kids may not be into it. But I guess that self-care and self-love is just really important for myself for this 2024. But on this particular day, we did do some shopping and we tried out Mellow Mushroom. So that was the burger place that you had saw. And I'm just trying to, when I was recording and trying to edit, I'm trying to put things in order of how we went about the day. But I felt like our spring break was amazing. I had a lot of fun just trying new restaurants and just spending that extra time with my daughters. Now we did go, so there was a shopping plaza where we went to where their dentist office was. It actually worked out so perfect. It was so close to where we, the movie theater that I had intended to go to. And we went to the Dollar Tree 
five dollar and below we went to ross we went to burlington and we went to ulta that whole that whole area is really nice and this was a new microphone that i actually got um so if you haven't watched my asmr cleaning video i had the microphone on the camera with that and it actually sounds more profound so i really like it i'll continue to keep it and i'm getting ready to show you the things that i got while we were out i did finally find a new hamper guys from burlington i thought this one was really cute it was, it was like a gray suede and i think it might have been 15 dollars. i feel like i like going actually you know what i got this one from ross but they did have one that was really cute in burlington so these are some t-shirts that i got from five dollar below i've just been looking for something casual and of course i had to go to ulta i ended up finding the vanilla musk in ulta i was so excited so i ended up purchasing that one and then i got a new mascara from morphe i actually really love this mascara so if you are looking for a mascara please check that one out so pretty much after, when we were going into each store, I have one daughter who constantly likes picking out something which when we go. So anytime, most of the time if I go somewhere, she's always right behind me wanting to go. And I told them they can just only get one item. Um, I'm like, no, you end up racking up my bill and I don't want to pay all that. So in each store that we went into, they were allowed to at least get one thing. Um, one of my daughters, she doesn't, if she doesn't really see anything, she she just would just not get anything. She doesn't force it or anything. But um, again, this was on a Thursday that we were out of school. And I'm gonna just go ahead and be quiet for a little bit and <laughs> let you guys finish watching some of the video. If it looks like that I'm recording this video later at night, I am. It's only because the next day is Friday and I had to braid my daughter's hair and that's that's an all day process. I was doing box braids with added hair. So I knew on Thursday night, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and get some cleaning done so I don't have to worry about worry about it at all on Friday. It just helps this relieve the anxiety and just, you know, go about the next day more peacefully I guess but I did record a video on how I organized my vanity I gotta figure out which SD card I put it on and I can try to insert that little, those little clips into another video I'm really trying to work on not making a videos way too long but um, yeah but so far this little system that I have on the desk is working out great and actually guys I still have the mirror, but I'm considering um, returning it and getting a different look. I'm really an indecisive person. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And I'm just wiping off the glass tops on my nightstands. These glass tops are amazing. I love how simple they are to clean. Um, the glass tops are purchased from Ikea. I still have yet to get a glass top for the desk. Um, I'm hoping I can probably do that next week. Next week I didn't pick up as many shifts. Um, so I'm hoping I can try a different Lowe's. So this is the finishing and now we're going to go ahead and move into the kitchen. Okay guys, so of course my kitchen looks a mess, um, but I'm determined to get all this cleaned up so I can be ready for the next day 
because not only am I braiding my daughter's hair, we are also doing a little um, show night. So one of me and my daughters, excuse me, one of my daughters, her and I kind of like the same shows. We like like action um, movies. We like action shows. So we've been staying up with the new 911 series, and we're doing like a little show night. Well, it's not a movie night, but it's, I call it a show night because it's a show. And that was another reason why I wanted to clean up because we got some goodies from the Dollar Tree and I'm getting ready to show you guys what all we got and then we ended up um, and then we're gonna order pizza because this week at Domino's and this is actually some masks that we got from five dollar and below and listen I was going through this bag and I was just like I don't even remember putting some of this stuff in the cart and when we, I mean you know the little well, we, I don't remember buying some of this stuff because I, I told my daughters they can go look and see whatever they wanted they can get. Even the ring pops. I'm like, I don't even remember this. And they said, well, mommy, you said we could have it. I was like, I don't even remember. And then the other one got they, what they call voodoo chips. And I'm like, what is this? And I thought they were like fire hot chips and they weren't. Yeah. But anywho, those are little goodies that we got for our little movie night. Um, I'm planning to, and that's the trays that we're going to be using it in. And I'm planning to do that at least once a month with us. It was a lot of fun, you guys. And yeah, but I do have a confession. Listen, y'all saw those cleaning products I had. And these are the new game products. I ended up getting the watermelon scent. It smells very good. And I got these new Cascade um, Platinum tabs I really wanted to try them I saw some really good reviews on it so I'm just giving it a try but going back to my confession listen when you go on clean clean talk on TikTok, or you start looking at all these videos of people doing all these products and mixing them together and the sponge rinses that stuff is fascinating for me I know it's not for a lot of people I it just the, the suds I'm always a suds girl I've been like that for 10 plus years so when you get it to clean talk, you see all these people doing this stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this looks so therapeutic. It looks amazing. So then I'm like, okay, I got a little bit, I got pretty much addicted. As you can see in one of my bathroom organization videos, I have so much products, you guys, because you'll go to a store and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I got to get a cleaning product. I got to get a cleaning product. But then you still have stuff at home. So I've made the determination that I'm no longer going to be this obsessed with it. And I don't know where that obsession comes from. Sometimes I feel like I don't know if it's just, just honestly, if it's a distraction of me just trying to focus on more important things. That's just how I feel. But sometimes I get too obsessed where I can just watch it for hours or sometimes I just fall asleep to it. But I'm, I'm going to honestly give it up. Um, I did. This Fabuloso is a warm and file. Fabuloso that Clean Talk raved about it. It actually smells really good. Um, I'm pouring it in a bottle because one of my daughters, she does not like strong smells when she cleans the bathroom. So I plan to make them still just use the Kaboom and just use this Fabuloso spray and that's it. I've decided to just kind of go back to simplifying how many products that I'm using because recently I did those sponge squeezing videos. I've been trying to record those for TikTok. And I probably did three or four videos, but that stuff smells strong. Like, I was just like, you know what? It's not worth it for me. It's not worth it. Um, especially when you add the comment. That has bleach in it. And when you add Ajax, it's like, I, it, I, it, it was no... I'm going to go ahead and finish using up everything and I said if I mix anything or if I still do sponge squeezes videos, I may just do it with one product and that's probably it. I don't have a desire to do it anymore and it just gets, and another thing gets super messy. You get it all over your clothes and then the Ajax and Comet, I feel like you that's something you cannot use on your counter, I mean excuse me, you cannot use on your, um, what do you call it? cabinets it leaves like a residue and as you can see I'm just mixing up stuff because again I'm trying to be extra and I just want the smell and all this other stuff it's just not necessary I'm gonna keep it simple just use one product um, I do love the watermelon scent I know the panelin, um, but it's just 
I don't have a desire to do all this because sometimes I'd be like, oh, I'm going to do a video with cleaning with all pink products. And that was my intention. And I actually had intentions on that last video that you guys saw. If I'm talking too much, please forgive me. But I'm just trying to tell you like the things that go on through my mind when I'm trying to clean and provide content for you guys. Because again, you see all this says, I love that stuff. I but I don't think it's necessary for me to put five or six products together to make that happen, if that makes sense. Because I'm gonna share some stuff with you guys later in the video, but I use these all these three products on my stove to clean my stove top, and guess what? I still have stuff left behind. I don't feel like it's a good cleaning agent in terms of getting up everything that you need if you have tough creases. So that's why I decided on and it's another reason why I decided I'm not going to spend so much time trying to buy all these products. Now, yeah. In a nutshell, that's just what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let you dry, enjoy a little bit of ASMR. I wanted to jump in and share with you about that dragon fruit juice. I actually purchased that from Costco. I did do a grocery run earlier that morning and I went to Costco afterwards and we got some Starbucks. And these are carrot cake um, 
I call them, they're not mini cupcakes, but more of a massive size cupcakes, and those were purchased from Costco. I love their cupcakes, so if I see a flavor that I like, I always purchase them. And I also want to give you guys a fun fact. I don't have anything playing, playing in my headphones. I didn't realize it until later. I think I was just so much in deep thought when I was just cleaning. Sometimes when you put the um, AirPods in, it kind of isolates some of the noise. And it was just kind of like relaxing. And by the time I figured it out, I was like, oh, there's no need. I could just keep them in. <laughs> but anywho, I'll let you guys get back to the video. I'm getting ready to show you guys how I make a smoothie. Anytime I make a smoothie, my greens that I like to use is kale. That is my go-to. And today I'm just doing a fruit of mango. I'll go with either mango or um, pineapples, but I have to be careful if I'm gonna make um, a green smoothie with pineapples. As you know, one of my daughters is allergic to it. And I thankfully I had a ripe, um, avocado in the refrigerator because the other ones I just got. So today I'm just doing the kale, the mango, half of an avocado. If you can um, withstand the taste of avocado, I prefer that over a banana. And then I'm of course always using my bloom packet and then I use this, my liquid is going to be the dragon fruit juice. I actually thought it was a smoothie when I first purchased it but it's a liquid, which is still turned out really good. My goal is to try to make a couple of these pre-made um, and put them in the little plastic cups that I have and just put them in the refrigerator. So even if there's a case that my daughters want to try one, there'll be like at least a couple in the refrigerator for them to try. And for me, when I make a smoothie, I've been liking just putting a more um, healthier juice in it or I'll have like a pre-made smoothie one of the ones I think I've showed it in a previous video I don't I haven't come nothing's come out bad that way versus me just using water or coconut water so this is what I'm sticking with I do want to get back into doing like a protein powder but I have to really figure out which is a good one for me because a lot of the ones just make my stomach really upset and this is a plastic container um, cup I was telling you guys about that I'm looking to try to just make a couple of them um, and just put it in the refrigerator and like as you can see my face it did turn out really good so definitely give it a try Okay guys, so I'm guess I'm just getting ready to um, mop, so I'm going to go ahead and sweep everything first. I do not mop weekly, um, I probably should, um, only because it's just a lot of work, <laughs> to be honest. 
I don't know. I just never really cared to mop, but I do like the O Cedar mop. It's really nice and very fast. Well, it's convenient, but I don't know. I just don't like to mop. But of course, if my floor is looking crazy in one week that I didn't, I will go ahead and, you know, mop up or clean up or whatever. But I wanted to mop tonight because I have pest control coming tomorrow. So there's no purpose of me mopping after they've sprayed around so that's why I was like let me go ahead and mop tonight so whatever they spray is going to just be there versus me trying to mop it up as you can see I'm going back into my little crazy stage where I'm adding all these products I don't I think I just added two products into the mop bucket and then I'm using the hot water usually I use a bigger pot but I already had something in that in the fridge um that little bit of water didn't do anything I end up having to add some hot water from the sink and let me tell y'all like this is the other reason that I was telling you earlier in the video where I'm no longer gonna be you know following the trend on TikTok where you add all these products together and have so much suds this did nothing for my floors it did absolutely nothing so I ended up mopping all of downstairs with this solution and I was just like I was looking at my floors I said no something's not right I said my floors don't look clean because I know where my floors if they're dirty or they're clean and it made no dent in it at all and as you get further in the video you're gonna see where when I empty this mop bucket um, and then this is part where I end up taking off the head and had to re put it together that little um, old cedar mop in that holds a lot of suds like it it was so much soap in that and on, on, given that I already put a lot in there but it it holds a lot but I really do love this mop and I do want to get better at mopping trying to mop every week is it to me I just that's one least chore that's one chore I don't care to do just like laundry so those are like my top two things weird I know but anywho just getting back to my life yeah, I will not be doing this again, and in the end, when I empty out the bucket, all you're going to see is just suds. There's no dirt that's being empty, no nothing. And that's when I made the decision to, to go back to my normal solution, where I just use Pine Saw and my Zeep or Zep pH natural floor cleaner. That's all I'm mopping with now. And I think I mentioned that in another video where I, you see how it's really nothing, not, nothing dirty coming out. And that's when I realized, okay, I'm going to have to sit here and remop this whole floor. So I'm just clearing um, everything off. Well, just trying to get the suds out because I just had so much suds in there. It was just pointless. So I went back to my oldie but goodie and one of my daughters, she doesn't like the smell of pine salt, but I told her, I said, listen, next time when I mop, I'll just do it like earlier when you're not home, but I had to get these floors clean. And you'll see in the end how much dirt, how much really unfortunately dirty my, my floors were, but yeah. So don't be like me where you sit there and see some of these trends on clean talk or wherever that some of these people are just mixing up all this stuff and how fun it looks. It, I'm really now gonna just redirect my, my attention on making sure my my um, home is clean. And then sometimes what I do do is go back behind it and may do like a cleaning, like a good smelling cleaning product if that makes sense. Because even in that ASMR video, I had intentions on using those pink products to clean but after I saw this where I knew it didn't really clean anything I said nah we're just gonna stick with good old faithful Clorox and Ajax like I've been doing for years and sometimes occasionally I will go back and go over stuff with a good smelling product but my base is gonna always be to make sure I disinfect first if that makes sense and even right now when I'm mopping, I was it was like, aha, yeah, this now my floors look clean. As you can see, you see the shine. It looks like I feel so much better. I'm glad I made that decision to go back over the floors.
I'm just showing you guys the results of me cleaning the bathroom downstairs. I did do this after I finished the kitchen. Um, and I'm just putting everything back in. And I did, I did film it, but I didn't include it in this video. Did y'all see all that dirt? This is what I'm saying. It's like I already mopped once with the Fabuloso and that Ajax cleaner and it absolutely didn't do anything for my floors. So just keep that in mind when you're going forward. Make sure you're getting the right cleaning products that work for you because my floors are vinyl and I have to use that Zeep um, natural floor cleaner. That was the only thing that really worked but I love pine cell too so I always just stick with that now but I'm just wrapping up showing you guys um, I'm all done with the kitchen downstairs is good to go I'm excited to have this done and this day was a long day for me I had picked up our Walmart order went to Costco the girls had a dentist appointment we did some shopping we had lunch and then after I got home I don't even think I ended up taking a nap I ended up just going ahead and finish getting some cleaning done and this is me y'all know I like to flicker the lights but I end up messing up but um, yeah so now we're gonna go into Friday um, this is me just prepping our little show little family night um, duo thing and, and again I now these little trays are purchased from the Dollar Tree I always wash our trays before I add food but we had a lot of fun um, all three of us were sitting down watching that and I think we ended up putting on something else and then after the movie was done we ended up watching something else but it was really fun I'm looking forward to continuing these up with my daughters and getting our little snacks from the Dollar Tree. It just worked out perfectly. And we just got our pizza from Domino's. Everything turned out really good. We ended up getting some pretzel bites I've never had before. And I can't even tell you the last time I had Domino's pizza. But um, there, we the cheese pizza was really good. And then we ended up getting the chicken bacon ranch. That one was okay. But I'm just looking forward to continue to making memories with them. Um, and then the next day was Saturday. So Saturday we did just only went one of my daughters, her and I went to first watch for a brunch. And then we did a store run at Hobby Lobby and Target. And then we went and spent some time with my parents. So I really enjoyed this time off. I've been loving my new work schedule in terms of just the ability to spend more time with my kids, be more present, be, I'm just trying to be more intentional in life with everything but yeah if you made it this far please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this type of material and i'll see you guys next time bye